Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I power my GPU mining basement here at my home. So what I'm gonna do is just take you through how I power everything down here, where I've started, where I've gone to, and hopefully it just helps you learn something that I had to learn along the way. So I guess we'll start at my electrical panel, which you see right there. I know it's kind of in the corner, so it might be hard to see, but this is a 200 amp electrical panel that I had upgraded when I bought the house about five years ago, before it was even into mining. There's only a 60 amp panel here when I bought this house, which is ridiculous. So that's afforded me quite the opportunity to run some circuits just for mining. So let's take a look in here. And what you're looking at is I have five dedicated circuits just for mining. I have one, two, three 30 amps and two 20 amp circuits. Now what I started with was this. It was here already. This is just a 15 amp outlet. It's shared with outlets upstairs in the house. And I just had a couple rigs plugged into there. I was tripping circuit breakers and all that. So I knew it was time for me to do something else. Now, I'm pretty comfortable working with electricity, but obviously if you are not, and even if you are, you could die, so hire somebody, disclaimer. So the next thing I did was run those two 20 amp circuits, which you can see right there. So there's two wires, this is on a circuit, and this is on a circuit. And this gives me a little more wattage to work with when running on minor rigs, and that got me by for quite a while. Right now, what's plugged in there, in that side, is this PC, which is mining with 23060 version one, so that's doing okay. Uh, and then the other thing plugged in there, if you want to see, just kind of like my YouTube setup. So that goes down to this 15 amp surge protector. Uh, that just has like lights plugged into it, the cameras, you know, all that stuff, computer charging. Uh, and then this test bench is plugged in there too, but this won't pull too much wattage to trip anything uh, on that surge protector down there. But what I like to do is plug in this 20 amp meter that I, I built. And when I'm doing a rig build, you know, on video over there, I'll plug this in to one of those 20 amps and that'll give me plenty of room to work with as far as wattage wise for pretty much anything that I can build over here on the bench. So that is what I did next. I had those 20 amps, I ran quite a bit of rigs off that and then I knew it was time to expand more and I didn't wanna just keep dropping 20 amp circuits down because that would've just been a waste. So then I decided it was time to run some 30 amps. That's when I started with one and now I'm up to three right now and that's those orange 10-2 cables coming up there. Listen guys, I'm not an electrician. I know there's things I can do better. I gotta get these pinned back there um, to do it to code and all that, but give me a break here. Please don't rip me apart in the comment section. I know I could do better, but I know it's safe. So anyway, those all run up there with all the other electrical that was already here when I bought the house. And I drop them down right over here, right next to my grow tent. You can see those two 30 amps there. Um, and then it let me plug in something called a PDU, a power distribution unit. Because you know you can't just plug in your normal power supplies into this weird looking 30 amp plug. You need something in between. And that is what these are. And there's, I have three of them. I'll show you these two. And I'll tell you why I don't buy these, I don't think. I'll show you the one that I got recently that I much prefer. But these are, are rated for 30 amps. Now the one thing you wanna do with any electricity is only go up to 80% of its full load when you're running a continuous energy, continuous load over it, which we're doing mining. These things are just running 24 seven. So that means you only have 24 amps to work with on any of these 30 amp circuits. So these are the trip light PDUs. Many miners use these. And the way they work is there's two banks on them, each rated for 15 amps. You can see bank one, right goes up there all those plugs and then bank two goes there and is all those plugs going down now i don't really like that personally i'll get some focus here again i don't really like that because it's hard to load balance a rig and i'd prefer all of one rig on one bank so it's like hard to load balance it when it's split up like that but they work the only other problem is look how many outlets i'm not using on these and they're already pretty close to being maxed out if not maxed out already so just a lot of space taken up don't really prefer those i'll show you the other 30 amp and i'll talk to you about the pdu I, I like a lot better so this is the other 30 amp circuit i ran over here this is the meter box so i put in a meter attached right to it so i can see how much wattage i'm pulling and this is really great if you have a pdu that doesn't measure 
wattage or amperage, you can get something like this. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. It says housing by the meter box. You guys can build this yourself. I have a video on it, I'll link up in the card. And that is going right to this PDU that I just picked up, which I much prefer. Look how small it is, right? It's got the reading right there, 15 amps measured there, 15 amps measured there. I know it's working properly. And that's running these three server cases, 3090s, 6600s, 580s, all off this. And I wish I actually went a little bit bigger. They make one that has eight um, ports on it. This the plugs on it, this one only has six. And you can see I only have one left, but I have quite a, a lot of space left to go up to 24 amps there. So I wish I got a bigger one. They do make it, but still much better than the ones that I'm using over here. These gigantic trip light ones that just, I don't know, they just don't like make a lot of sense to me. In addition, you can see I got exhaust fans going here and over there, taking the air out of the grow tent. Uh, and that and these box fans are all plugged into this outlet here, which is another dedicated circuit. Uh, but that's just doing real low wattage stuff. Like these exhaust fans don't pull that much wattage, box fans don't pull that much. So those are just plugged into that surge protector to do some of that. And that's pretty much it. That's how I'm powering everything down here. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section. I would love to answer them for you. I know a lot of this was really confusing when I got started. Now, the problem that I'm running into and kind of a sneak peek of I think where I'm going with this is the heat down here is ridiculous, as you can imagine, since I expanded beyond the grow tent. And I think I'm gonna move everything to the garage. Now my electrical setup in the garage is not, is not ready, but it can be. I ran a 60 amp sub panel to my garage. I think it's, yeah, it's this breaker right here. Uh, and it's this black wire you can see going up there. It's a 60 amp sub panel, but that sub panel can actually do 125. I just only have a 60 amp breaker in there. And it's an attached garage, single car garage. I have a couple rigs and an ASIC out there now, but what I'm thinking is come spring and summer, I don't really have a great solution for this basement and keeping everything cool now that I've expanded so much. So I think everything's gonna end up in the garage. I just gotta run 125 amp breaker in that box and then run cabling that can handle that and run some 30 amps out there. So I think I'm gonna move everything to the garage, move all my electrical out there, give me a nice quiet basement setup for recording videos. But that is everything until now. Obviously it's an evolution, things change all the time. I'm sure anybody watching this who's been mining for a while absolutely knows that. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something or answered a question that you might have or you just enjoyed the conversation. Let me know any questions you have down in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you wanna chat. The link is down in the description. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram links are down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.